Canterbury Trails Farm. Today I'm in the kitchen and I'm making Salisbury noodles. Usually you hear about Salisbury steak, but not Salisbury noodles. How did this come about? When my son was younger, he liked Salisbury steak. I can't remember exactly what happened, but it seems like I went ahead and mixed everything together and I forgot to make patties out of it and I just dumped it in the pan and then I realized, oh, I forgot to do the patties, but by then it had already started cooking. So I was like, well, do I pull it all out and make patties out of it even though some of it is like cooked or what do I do? So I just looked at the noodles and I looked at the stuff and I thought, why don't I just make it like I would spaghetti with the Salisbury stuff all, you know, mixed up and then the noodles. So um, I use egg noodles. So to start with, you'll need one pound of hamburger and I am just getting that started and you'll need to make a prepared, we do 12 ounces, but I'm feeding four to six people usually. That's, so 12 ounces does, does fine. We don't usually have any leftovers of this uh, particular recipe because everyone likes it. So getting one pound of hamburger going. You want to use one half to a full chopped onion depending on the size of your onion but my kid who this is his favorite recipe doesn't like onions so I'm using about a fourth cup minced onion instead and give it a good shake of salt and pepper we tend to use more pepper than salt. I'm also just going to give it a shake of parsley, just because I have a lot of it. <laughs> you want one cup of shredded bread. You have already have like croutons, you can pulverize those. Uh, I've used saltines before too. A generous coating of garlic powder. My meat is almost done, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner down to low. It's almost like a simmer. I want two undiluted cans of uh, 10, 10 and a half ounce, whatever they come in. Um, cream of mushroom soup and any of the variations of cream of mushroom soup I know there's garlic cream of mushroom soup, golden cream of mushroom soup any of those will work if you have mushrooms by all means chop those up and throw them in the pan about a, a half a cup is good I thought I had some but they had gone mushy sort of grody so I mixed the mushrooms much like half a cup of water I'm using a lean meat so I don't really have that much uh, drippings or fat or grease in my pan so what I have in there I just use to mix in with the water and the soup if you are using a fattier meat you might want to drain it off At this point, I'm just going to put the lid on it and let it simmer. And if it looks like it's cooking down too much, you just um, add a fourth a cup of water. To, you want to make it, um, you don't want it to be solid when we mix it with the noodles. You want it to be like a when you add spaghetti sauce and spaghetti meat to the noodles. You want it that same sort of consistency. So I'm going to wait for my egg noodles to get done and then we'll look at it. I just mix it all together in one big pan. And okay, I am ready to mix it up here. And we are having this with a cucumber and tomato and onion salad. And we are having a apple pie. There it is.
So I hope this easy recipe will be a new favorite with your family. And I really want to thank you for supporting our channel. And if you could do it, could you like the video, subscribe, and ring that little bell, and then you'll get the notifications of all my new videos. And I really want to say thank you for joining us tonight. And happy eating your Salisbury noodles. It's been Angie.